so. Oh, there we are. Is it work? Is it live? Are we live? I think we're live. I think we're live. Shalom Aleichem. Shabbat Tov. What it is, peoples? Yeah, we had solo cup in it. I'm Yeshua, people of Yeshua. Oh, uh, you're going to have to leave the light oh, on. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave the light on. Leave the light on. May Hashem protect us and not cause us to get an accident because of this light. And he's driving. And I'm driving. I don't know what he... I, oh, wow, well, that's offensive, brah. Hey, last time about? I drove, when I see, I got to stay safe. Now, I'm just talking <laughs> about you. So let me do the, the, the right thing. Well, Buchim <laughs> welcome to Netzali Nazarin Torah Study Jacksonville. Uh, we just got done. We got, just got done? We just got out of a, uh, a synagogue. A syn you want to Shabbos talk about it? Shabbos is over. Yeah, it is and, now the Shavua Chodesh. The um, Shavua Chadasha, I guess. We, had a, we didn't do um, Havdalah. We didn't have Havdalah. Havdalah, we'll probably do Havdalah and get to the house. We did Mincha. That was we did good. Mincha. We had uh, Shabbat service, Torah service. Oh, Havdalah, we could do, we could do, we could do, we could do I could do Havdalah at the house. Oh, Hashem. That would be so great. Oi, oh, oi. Everything will fall over? I guess not. So far, so good. Hey, he's going 30 miles per hour. Yay. Okay. <coughs> Boy, I got this terrible cough. It is just ridiculous. Hey, you mind sharing that on my page real quick? Oh, I don't babe. know how to do that. All right, whatever. I'll just post it. Then, uh, uh, if you want to watch it, they can watch it. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do from here. When the sun's gone. I'll be good. I'll be good. The song never ends. Making that a nagoon. A nagoon? Yeah. You know, this is a die, 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 die. Just do it. Just do it. Nagoon. This whole life thing. Make it, make it, you know, that's the song, you know. The song so for this ran. live video, wow. that'll be one hour and a half. We will do it. We will do a nagoon for one hour and a half, and y'all can watch us do it. How no, about that? that's not. That's How it, about that? That's not. Uh, so do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about the service or? Oh, we can talk about the service. We can talk about the topic. What was the, the last? Uh, the topic was. <coughs> um, maturity, responsibility. Responsibility. Maturity. Um, spiritual responsibility, spiritual maturity, uh, certain levels, you know things funny? that individuals do, yeah. whether he be a hadith, Maybe you should have, turn the, the oh, thing yeah. up because oh, people yeah, are right. going to hear us as well. Yeah. But uh, it's kind of interesting. It's interesting how this topic showed up about responsibility right after I became the new admin of this page. Oh, yeah. Isn't that funky? That's what it's supposed to be. Like, I was already nervous, and you just had to, like, you know make me more nervous by doing a sermon but no it was a good sermon yeah, very good absolute, stuff absolute good message good stuff <coughs> yeah, we, something uh, everybody needs one point at some point in their life you know he uh, mentioned a couple of things like you know at what age are you accountable for your own actions at what at what at what point in your life should you be held accountable both spiritually and physically on your third month in your mother's womb, that's when you are accountable for your actions. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, because you have, you know, bar mitzvah, you have circumcision, you have brit milah, etc. But, you know, he kind of talked about on, uh, a little bit about bar mitzvah uh, a bit. You know, at certain ages, 13, 14 years old, bar and bar mitzvah. Yeah. And, you know, I see, I read some other places where uh, age of accountability is like in your 20s. Like 20 or 22. Really? Um, well, I was looking at the ages of where a person would enter into the services of a shim as far as military-wise. And okay. I, I mean, this was like, like earlier today or yesterday, I, I just came across this. I'm like, dude, I guess we're up to, I mean, we're not the only ones following the ancient uh, Torah portion cycle. Uh, Wait, are people, you talking about age of accountability to go into the military service at a yeah, certain age? Yeah, yeah. that is Tyra. Yeah. That's yeah. in the Tyra. And that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why Yehudim today, um, they send their, their Jewish, if their sons or daughters are Jewish, they send them over to uh, Elot Israel to... It's, it, but it, if you're a citizen, in the military, if you're a citizen yeah, of Israel, you can be sent, you, you can... Um, you know, serve your time in Israel, you know, three to four years. Some people decide to go longer, you know, take a break, go see the rest of the world, come back. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to serve a nation that you, that's protecting you, you know. You, mm -hmm. you have your partaker, a joint heir in the nation wherein you live, which is uh, it's a good thing. It's, it's an honorable thing. Where are you going? 
Taking a left it did. Taking a left? He taking a left. Oh, an left. I wanna take a, I wanna take a left. All right, everybody, hold on. Here we go. So speaking of taking a left. Or hey, right, we're gonna pick up. Uh, Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what That'd be cool. Right, hey, Barbara, we just to check on your house. Everything's good. No worries. Yeah, we just call no her. Man, like, we checked I, on your house. Yeah, uh, a, there's a bear in your house. Like, and he's like, eating Cheetos on the couch. Yeah. He's. We have. A, we found a bear <laughs> in your. Funny. We found a bear in your apartment doing havdalah. Like, yeah. I mean, we see the bear was dominating. We miss you. <laughs> He was dominating, right? <laughs> oh, dominating there. How about that? Yeah, just a shout out to a, a, a very wonderful lady that had blessed us the past the past year. Uh, she moved away for a while. Hopefully, we'll see her again soon. Um, just a shout out to her. This thing's tipping, tipping down. It's tripping. It's because it's drunk, dude. It yeah. just had too much Shabbos wine. That's what. Shabbos wine, kosher wine. Thing was drunk the whole time. All right, I, I'm gonna try to find this again. What are you looking for? Um, but yeah, back to the topic of discussion was uh, maturity, accountability, different ages. We talked about the military, how in both the uh, biblical um, the armies of Hashem, it was at the age of 20 where you began, began, you were from the age of 20 and upwards, you could be conscripted or you can volunteer to be a uh, warrior of Hashem. Now, was this a... Uh... Now, is this something... It's repeated but multiple times. Were they commanded to be in the military, or were they just eligible to be in the military? Uh, eligible, and in certain areas, it was... Uh, I, don't, I think in one situation... So, basically, was it like a draft? Like, it, in one situation, it was a command, and in just that one specific situation, it was a command. But every time else that I can remember, you guys go back and check. But every time else, everything time else, it was seemed to be an, uh, if you're eligible if you want to. Um, okay. But uh, and I think I only in one situation in where it was kind of pretty much commanded that all your men of <coughs> age go to war. But even, uh, like I said, uh, if you have a. Uh, I used to live out here, dude. Uh oh. Yeah. Are we uh, in the hood? No, it's in the hood. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Let's back up. Let's back up. Just because I said we should live around here, you instantly think it's the hood. What's up with that, bro? Uh, huh? the first thing I this saw guy was here, like a... nah, 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 nah. Clear that up. Joking with you. No, just joking with you. Just joking with you. Funny. Okay. Victor um, lives in the hood, according to. What oh, he said. great! Now you're talking about people living in the hood. Victor What's wrong with the hood? What is wrong with Did the hood? Did I say anything huh? was wrong with the hood? I'm just saying they live in the hood. I didn't but, say anything do you know about what the hood. hood? Is? You know what the hood is. It's that thing you put over your head. You know there you go. <laughs> we all live in a hood. We all live in a hood. I don't hood. live in a hood. You don't live in a hood? I live in a hood in the sir in the synagogue because I put my talit on as a hood. This guy, he live in a hoodie. <laughs> I don't live in a hood, I live in a hoodie. Oh yeah, yeah. Oi gewalt. Oh, oh man. Hey, there's a song. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the song. I'm not talking about the song. Dude, you ruined that song. Yes, I know I ruined the song for you. Certain words in Ivrit, um, certain words in Ivrit, if you go use, use the Ashkenazic dialect, don't really translate over to English well. Or, uh, and let's just say <laughs> the song was one that if you you could mis easily misunderstand it, anyways. Back to the topic Do you think of you can put this in the port, it's on the right side of the phone. Uh, dry, it's Oy green. Vey. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, I was pointing at, pointing at the phone to tell you to do whatever. Don't worry about that, you try. A dude's got a Jew with a dude's got a Jew. You the same guy. I don't know, I don't remember that last one of that. Shlot, what is it? Chaim Shloimoy Meis. Chaim Shloimoy Meis. He's got really good music. A lot of heavy electronic music, and it's Jewish, and it's lovely. I love listening to that stuff. That's why I'm not so into the Messianic music. Honestly, to me, a lot of Messianic music just sounds very Christian, just with Hebrew in it. Yeah. I like all types of music. I got out of the Some Messianic music. Some Messianic music I do like a lot, but yeah, it's certain kind things, of rare. you know, like we talked about maturity. At certain levels, certain things, your that generation. That is very true. That is very true. Of. I do start listening to music that I didn't like before, but because of I understand what it's about and, you know, wanting to connect with Hashem, it, it does kind of pull me into it. You know, I started off with different types, even the electronic, even created music. After a while, it, it, have, it had no appeal to me. I was like, actually starting to create a Middle Eastern song with a cool beat to it, but uh, mm. my, it was on my mom's Mac that had GarageBand, 
and that thing got jacked up, so I, I no longer have access to it. Oh man, I had some really good music on that thing, man. It's really upsetting. Well, don't worry. There's a time for everything. Yeah, Shem's like, yeah, that music sucks. You don't need it. <laughs> no, just kidding. You know what? I'm not going to turn. Never mind. All right, and he's driving. Oh, wait, wait. I can turn. Dang it. I forgot. I, I thought I was going to my house. Yo, you there. Oh, yeah, yo. So, back to the comp topic of conversation. Yo, Shalom, my key. What's going on, bro? Ah, yo, shalom, where you at? Shalom, hey, shalom. you're around here, aren't you? Yeah, you're that way. Yeah, yeah dude. We're calling. I haven't been to Keith's house. Why is my face red? Because of that car. My face yeah. is red. Ah! It's good. I got the blood of the lamb. I got Yeshua like no, covering that, me. That's, that's what it is. That's, that's okay. He, he's gonna go that way. Yo, uh, I will say, dude, call me. We meet up. We get some coffee and some. You bagels. know what? Tiffany told me. Tiffany told me there's a way where people could actually come in and be video chatting with us. I but don't know I don't how know. To do they that. said there's a way to accept it. It'll ask. Kadima! Kadima! I'm not going Kadima. I'm taking a left to dude. <laughs> it was funny because when I was in Okinawa. I had this, my buddy Victor, not Victor, Jewish Victor, a different Victor. You can be Jewish and not know it. I don't so, know. Anyways, right, American Victor. So, no, no. yeah, let's go there. American right. Victor. American Victor. <clears throat> and uh, we were in the car, and because we were in Okinawa, Japan, you know, they speak Japanese. So we had an Uber. We were going home. They had Ubers in Japan? Yeah, there were Ubers. Dude! Sort of. They, they were more like Ubers taxis. Ubers everywhere. I don't know. They're, Good I, for them. Like taxi, Uber kind of thing. But also, anyway. wasn't a taxi. It actually might have been a taxi. I, I was in an Uber. Uber, you need to expand yourself, you know. You're looking for Ubers and Yeah, Uber actually, no, it was a taxi because these taxis were lined up and you just get in one and you just tell them where you want to go. But anyway, so Could the taxi driver, yeah, of course, he's Okinawan, he's Japanese. And uh, my buddy thought it was a, a good idea to modify. Hey, bro, you pass your house, come by. <laughs> Hit me up. So my, my, my buddy Victor decided it was a. Sorry, Victor, if you end up watching this, I'm not making fun of you, man. Am I? I don't know. But it was funny, man. It was good stuff. So oh, don't be offended when I do But anyways, no, I'm <laughs> sure he'll be cool. So he thought it was a good idea to modify his English and give himself a kind of Japanese accent. So whenever, and uh, it was funny because the Japanese guy was correcting his English. He would say, we were going to take a left. He was like, oh, refto. And then the Japanese guy was like, oh, left. <laughs> so, and then at one point he'd be like, uh, straighto. And then the Japanese guy would be like, oh, straight. I was like, bro, he's correcting your English. Why are you doing that? You're not even speaking Japanese. You're speaking English with an American or a Japanese accent. Boy, man, it was hilarious. But anyways, back so to the topic. So we're talking about maturity. And um, yeah. yeah, at a certain ages, like when, the, you know, can a person that's beyond the age of 20 get a bar mitzvah? Of course. We were wondering, where is it the, the Bar Mitzvah in the Torah? Is the Torah talk about Bar Mitzvah? Does the Brit Hadashah talk about Bar Mitzvah? Yeah, kind of. Hey, there's, there's some... It's hints. Not, there are hints there are that Yeshua hints that had they, a Bar Mitzvah. There's some hints that he may have uh, had a Bar Mitzvah. Um, there are some concepts, but do we know if what he participated in was a Bar Mitzvah? We, I, his parents weren't there because he dipped out. You know what I'm saying? I don't. We you can't say yeah or no. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, we do. We know, do have hints that he did. Though. We we have. We do. We do know that during that time period, it was. It was the bar mitzvahs were happening. Bar and bar mitzvahs were, were happening historically. As a what's the word that he used? Um, uh, what's the word? It, it was happening. Started with but C. That's the word. It, 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 uh, it was happening. People were having was them. It commonplace? But it wasn't. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't commonplace. It was happening here. This family oh, would do it. Allergies. That family would do it. But these other families, they wouldn't do it. It was. Um, it wasn't as common as it is Here's today. Here's the thing. In the in the Besachal Pilukas and the Gospel. The tra of that tradition hadn't gone widespread. Put it that way. It was kind of like the keep up. People wore keep up back then, yeah. but it wasn't commonplace. Not everybody. And pay us too. I'm. I'm starting. I pretty much believe that people had pay us back then, but they did not. It wasn't commonplace. Yeah, they, they had cyburns, but no one called them cyburns. Yeah, and but um, <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> so here's the thing: uh, you can make an argument. I'm not saying this. Is, we can prove it, but you can at least make an argument that Yeshua had a bar mitzvah, but you can't really make an argument that he didn't. Let's, let's, let's put it this way: you can't prove it. You can't disprove it. You know what I mean? It, it's a it's an open situation, but yet we do have a tradition. Currently, uh, not a commandment, a tradition that is... And tradition does not equal bad. 
That not mean equal good. Unless you make it a commandment when it's not a commandment. There That's, you go. Then it's bad. Yeah, when you start saying it's a sin if you don't do this tradition, then yeah, you're in, you're in the wrong. Yeah, Yeshua would yeah. rebuke you for that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's uh. If he was I here, mean, your he brother should rebuke you for that. Mm. Like, like, go ahead and get sister? your bar mitzvah, but if you're gonna call people sinners for not doing it, what's wrong with you, bro? Yeah, yeah, you do. Come on, man, that's not, that's not good stuff. What it that's is, not chief? Uh, good ex. You know, that's not good Torah. It's not, it's not, it's not good. Yeah, freaking yeah, yeah, freilich. It's like freilich means cheerful. I just love that word. It's all so great. Let me see my Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, so, where did it happen? Go ahead. Pay attention. You pay, pay attention. attention. You pay attention. Pay attention. No. I'm trying to find. The, I don't know. For some reason, uh, to this topic, I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting anything to speak about it. Um, because you're mature. No. Huh? Well, oh, uh, I'm having my bar mitzvah March third. Uh, it'll be at Kehila Elohim. Uh, it will be very interesting. I have some pretty good things to talk about. I won't speak for three hours. I'll probably only speak for about an hour and a half. I'll keep it simple. Uh, I'll have interactions. I'll have, I'll have balloons. Uh, I'll have a clown. I hate clowns, though. Um, I might even have a bounce house. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I, you know, I'll make sure that it's something that's applicable to life. And, you know. You're applicable to life. <laughs> oh, and he said it. I'm gotcha. denying it. So, <laughs> but you know, it should be. Uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. So you're more than welcome. Join there, in. There is actually one thing I wanted to say. Mm. Um, so far, we only see Keith watching us. Yeah. Uh, what I would like is, is what is Keith is like. I don't, somehow, I don't know. Facebook is weird like that because. One moment there's like one person watching you, and then within once you close it, you get like 15 people watching. I'm like, how did where did it, where, they weren't on there before? <gasps> oh, yeah, say. I don't know. Facebook be you know tripping, dude. I don't know. Facebook is slightly dishonest. So what I wanted to say, um, anybody watching this or anybody who watches this even when it's not live, if you if you happen to scroll by it, um, maybe you're checking out my page or whatever, and you see this video. One thing I would request is uh, you like the page, invite other people to like the page. Talk to other people, say, hey, you should check out this page. If there's a way you can send an invite to somebody, to one of your friends to like the page, uh, to like the page. The plage. We don't need no plages. I got the flu. I pledge. got enough plages. Pledge. The Pledge of Allegiance, mm. but uh, anyways. Wex on. If you liked Wex the page on. and there's a way you can send an evite, an evite. Evite. My English is all over the place today. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I can't no, English he, all... No evite for you. I cannot English all of a sudden. No evite. <laughs> what is going on? With, just like construction everywhere. Oh, construction. Every, construction. Everywhere <laughs> That's how my cousin city. I'm like, what's happened? Construction. Coming but anyways, from fields, everywhere. Anybody, construction. <coughs> anybody, <laughs> again, if you've liked this page and there's a way you can send an, an invitation to a friend to like this play, like this page, Plage. please do that. I would greatly appreciate it. So I would like more people watching. I want my friends to see it, you know, give their input. We can bounce back, you know, if somebody, if somebody comes in and is trying to like, tell me I don't need to keep this anymore. This is done away with yada yada. Yeah, what happened with uh, that? You see, uh, I'll probably go at the go at it, you know, maybe a few times after bringing up a few scriptures. I'll, I'll give my explanation of why I disagree. But if the guy keeps going on, can somebody else just in the comments just talk to the guy because I can't really interrupt my way of study uh, to uh, debate with somebody who wants to do what Kepha warned about and twist Paul and the rest of scriptures to lead us to lawlessness. So please. Um, Please take care of that for me if anybody's watching. I would greatly appreciate that because I can only go off, of, bounce off a few times because, you know, when we have the Torah studies, there's there's a topic, a specific right. topic or an objective. Right. That's not right. That's not your street. You funk? You're right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you vault. You're freaking me out. You're making me unsure of myself. He's right. Finally. Oy, oy, oy. <coughs> but anyways, yeah, if anybody could do that, that would be very appreciated. But, uh, oy vey. That's pretty cool, though, because, you know, I was already, we were already probably assuming since, uh, since I'm the new admin that, you know, um, multiple, I can do more than one, uh, study or live feed throughout the week, so I don't have to just do every other Thursday. And I told my friends, I'm like, hey, if you want to do a spontaneous Torah study, just let me know, and if I'm not doing homework, then, uh, we can Don't take hit my car. <laughs> 
We can take it. You're a car. I got you, bro. You're gonna need some ice for that burn. Drive into the grass. I don't care. Drive into the grass. Don't hit my car. What do you call a? uh, This is maybe inappropriate, but what do you call? It's inappropriate. Good night, everybody. I can make make it more appropriate. What do you call a uh, somebody from a Latino background who got wedgied and then fell with his butt on the grass? You call him a gracias. Oh, I'm not too old anymore. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. We gotta give a proper goodbye. We ain't gonna do that, man. Oi. What? Wait. Hold on. I'm gonna get my stuff. Oh, I don't need that. I can leave that in here. You lose this guy. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to turn my car off so I don't make the battery die. That would not be good. Well, he give vault. Oh, my gosh, it's sideways. Oh, I'm not finished. I want to know how to do this whole thing where you can add people in. How do you do that? Yeah, I'll YouTube it. Go to Rabbi YouTube or whatever. He'll help me out. Uh, Oy vey, my tallest is on the floor. That's not kosher. Please don't tell me that my tefillin is down there too. Is my tefillin in my... You should always keep it in the bag. Where's my tefillin? You should always keep it in the bag. Yes, I should. You don't have it in the bag? It better be in the bag. Will you leave it there? Uh, there's no way I did. No, I. S- oh gosh, it's on the floor. Anyways. I don't. It's tefillin. The supernatural awesomeness of the tefillin, from God's word being on it, has destroyed all the uncleanliness. Hey, Yeshua said it ain't what enters your body that defiles you. What? Because he told me to wipe this thing off before I kissed the. the Are you still alive? Yes, we're still alive. And no, that doesn't mean go eat pork. And to prove that, you know, I actually did an interesting study on that scripture. It's in Mark and it's in Matthew about Yeshua. Hey, hey, don't close the door. Anyways. Okay. Oh my gosh, my allergies suck. I have to wipe my nose 24-7. Dang it. No, I wanted to get something else. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. It's kind of hard to... Uh, oh, I'm sideways. It's kind of hard to uh, do this stuff when you're constantly thinking about other things. There is me bag. I need my bag because I got... I got an interesting, maybe that's something I can talk about. But before I get into that, what was I talking about? What? Oh yeah, I was talking about Mark and Matthew. There's a specific scripture in Mark and Matthew. It, it just came to my attention when I talked about, you know, hey, you better wipe your tefillin before you kiss it. I'm like, bro, it ain't what enters in your body that defiles you. That does not equal go break Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14 and just go eat some pork or shellfish or any... Um, meats that is declared unclean. One thing I discovered in those passages about Yeshua HaRebbe and uh, talking about, you know, it's not what enters the heart that defiles you. The Greek word that is used <coughs> to defile and defile already should explain it in itself. Actually, I could probably use this. So the Greek word that is used for defile is like koinos or koinon. It's one of the, uh, one of the uh, conjugations of that word, of that root. And it, basically that is something that is common, something that is defiled. You see, those, when something is defiled, that means it has to be clean to begin with. For example, if I'm eating a piece of chicken and that chicken touched pork, that chicken is now common. You can call it unclean, but it is common or it's defiled. It's clean in and of itself. That's why Shaul says in Romans 14, 14, nothing is unclean in and of itself. In other words, it's clean, but that implies that it can become unclean. And he's not referring to pig, because pig is unclean, like, no matter what. But he says nothing is common in and of itself. So if I'm eating a piece of chicken, and it touches some pork, it's common. If I eat some chicken, and then I find out that it was sacrificed to an idol, it's common. I should not eat it. That's why he says, to anybody who esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But when it says to him it is unclean, he's not saying in his mind it's unclean or to him in his opinion it's unclean, but it really is. That's not, but it really is clean. <clears throat> That's actually not what he's saying. Um, he's saying to him it is unclean, like he shouldn't eat it. Like for example, another place in scripture for somebody who knows good to not do it, to him it is sin. That's not saying in his opinion it's a sin, but it's really not. It, to him it is sin. It is a sin. Same kind of language that Shoah uses in the scripture. To him it is unclean. It is unclean. If, or it is common, I should say. It is common if he uh, uh, messes with that. If he decides to eat it. 
Uh, shalom, Keith. I got your message. You said shalom, brother. Shalom lecha. But anyways, going back to Matthew and Mark uh, about the situation of the uh, Talmidim Shel Yeshua eating with, who did not do Netilas Yadayim, who didn't wash their hands. So this food, that what, we're saying whatever, it's not what enters your body that makes you coin us. You see, the rabbis, or the, the, <coughs> one of the, oh, no. one of the traditions, hey, what? Is tradition? Inside the message, the, Lachatz, the washing of hands. What does it say? Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us and commanded us concerning, <coughs> oy vey. And we're not to be observing Orthodox Halakha, but we have, command, in this Messianic sitter, we have, uh, <laughs> telling us that we are commanded to wash our hands? Yeah, no, we're not. See, that's what Yeshua was talking about. He's saying you don't need... Whatever goes is on your hands and gets onto your food, that will not make you coin us. Now, <coughs> he's not saying that all of a sudden foods that are unclean, which in the Greek is actually akathartos. It's not the word koinon. Akathartos and koinon aren't necessarily the same thing. The food in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14, that stuff, if you look in the Greek, Greek Septuagint, it comes from the word tame, which means, in Greek it would say akathartos, which, uh, that's the word for tame, unclean. If something is common, or like an abomination, that's the, Greek, that's the, that's the Greek word koinos, or koinon, that comes from the word um, pigul, which means like an abomination. So Yeshua in a sense is saying, it's not what enters your body that makes you an abomination. You see, if Yeshua was talking about like, say the, the dietary instructions, he would have used the word, it's not what goes into your body that makes you akathartos, which wouldn't really make sense, because you can't become akathartos. Something that is akathartos is akathartos no matter what, is tame no matter what. You can't make it tahok, which is clean. So Yeshua is not saying because nothing that enters your body will... Um, and he's not even talking about food. Like maybe you got a little bit of dirt in your hands or maybe your hands are a bit dirty. Like you sweat, your hands were sweaty or something and they weren't sweaty anymore and you decided to eat. Yeshua is just saying, you're just going to poop that out. He's not saying, oh, but if you got like pork... You see, pork doesn't make... I mean, you, he wouldn't use the word coin on. He would use the word that... Pork is akathartos. It's tame. It's not... It's not uh, pigul. It's not... A, yeah, it's not... It's not... Uh, koinos. Okay. We're starting Netilas Yudaim. Or not Netilas Yudaim. We're doing Habdala. But, uh... Shoot, what was I going to say regarding the Nazarene Torah study textbook? I don't remember. I was going to say something. But, uh... But I lost it. But anyways, we got to do... Ha we got to do Habdala. So I want to wish you guys a Shavua Tov. May Hashem bless you and keep you. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. In the name of the Messiah Yeshua. Amen. Shalom Aleichem. Laila Tov.